welcome to another unboxing video from Scene World. Although this time it's more than a reveal, as I've already opened the package. So here we go. It's the sky is falling from Cytronic Software in association with Icon 64. Now, if you've not heard of Icon 64 before, it's a new label. So you can see screenshots from Commodore 64 version published in 2017 by Cytronic Software, programmed by Stuart Collier, who is Icon 64. And artwork on the box and in game is by Trevor Story. That's all based on an Apple iOS game. As you can see here, Andrew is very careful with his packaging to protect the disc inside. You can see here the title screen, the animated intro, the main screen, and game screens. Here is the disc itself, lovely matching disc sleeve and Kenz's humorous protection descriptions on there, and if we can take out the inlay here, we can see the instructions, how to load, Sky is Falling is a challenging game of score building and survival. You must clear all the stalactites in order to progress to the next stage. See how many caves you can survive before you're crushed by the cave roof. Joystick port 2, fire start game. Fire is all you need during the game. Tells you about the power ups. As you can see, based on an original game by Ovine by design. So now we've seen inside the box, we'll show you some gameplay footage. But first, the animated intro. Welcome to this part of the video, looking at the sky is falling. We're loading from the disc version. And it starts with a menu offering two options, the main game and the animated intro. It's a collaboration between Stuart Collier, Trevor Story and Richard Bayliss. And here you can see the title picture. Before we go on to the menu, as you can see, Richard Bow has created the menu. The logo by Jason McKenzie, Ken's also a track. And we'll push option two now. To see the animated intro with graphics created by Trevor Story, music by Richard Bayless once more, and programmed by Stu Collier. And it's important to remember this is Stu's first game on the Commodore 64. He'd previously worked on remakes with the group Ovine by Design recreating many classic 8-bit games for PC and then also works on their iOS games. So Cytronic Software presents Icon 64, that's Stuart's label. And here we have the animated intro. Sky is 
course this is how you view the actual game. So now we look at the game itself. We'll skip the menu. It's all complete. It's all controlled by a joystick in port 2 and you just have to press fire at the right time. So it's a very straightforward game. It's it's quite easy to play as you'll see in just a moment in many ways it's a reverse of the typical blitz one button game where you drop bombs from the screen to clear the skyscrapers in this game we're throwing spanners up to destroy stalactites on the ceiling of the cave before it lowers and crushes us Icon 64 presents The Sky is Falling Coded by Stuart Collier Graphics by Trevor Story Audio by Richard Bayliss Released by Cytronics Press Fire to Play So you have a choice of three difficulty levels We'll start out on easy So your little hero runs along the bottom of the screen here and throws his spanner up to destroy stalactites. The balloon here is very important. As you can see it dropped a parcel and now we have the pickaxe and that's important because it does more damage helps us destroy the stalactites. The bird gets in the way, stops your spanner, makes it harder. The bowler continues to bounce after us. So as you play you've got to be careful to take out the longest stalactites first so you don't run into them. And then you have to make sure you clear all of them 
before the ceiling reaches the bottom. So there we have the first level complete. Helicopter comes down to rescue you. Bonus of completing the level. Bonus of being accurate. So now we're on to level two. Different layout, which is essentially random. But as you play the later levels, you'll see the stalactites start out longer. So you need to make more hits to survive. There you go, the bird just blocked that spanner. Stop me doing any damage. Now as the cave gets lower, you can throw more spanners per run through. Usually you have to wait until it's reached its highest point before you can fire again. But when the cave is lower like this, it's much easier to hit. So there we go. Level 2 complete. And this time the alien is going to beam you up. Bonus for completing the level. Bonus for how quickly you completed the level. our friendly balloon again. I'll get him this time. No I won't. There we go. And the dynamite takes out a large area. You can see it was very helpful. Just three small stalactites to go on the right. Boulder bouncing behind me. And there we go. Have we completed? Yes. So we completed that level much quicker. Helicopter comes down to pick us up. Speed bonus. And another accuracy bonus. So having played the original, how does it compare? Well, the C64 graphics do a really good job of recreating it. It's a clever mixture here of high res and multicolor graphics. Yeah, I missed that stalactite and the cave. Roof is too low, so it's game over. So I hope you've enjoyed this look at The Sky is Falling. The game is available now from www.binuzone.org slash retrostore. I'm really impressed by Stuart's coding. There's some Clever little tricks, multiplex sprites, overlaid sprites, and even the shudder effect is a 
clever use of the built-in position registers, so you can actually shake the screen up and down by moving it X and Y. I hope we'll be seeing more games from Stuart in the future. And we're all certainly looking forward to more graphics from Trevor Story, Smiler, who has new games on the way this summer, including Argus. Good support from Richard Bayliss with the menu and the music tracks. And of course, all wrapped up nicely in a big package from Jason McKenzie at Cytronic Soft. So I hope you enjoyed this video for SceneWorld. I've been Merman, I'll be back soon with more. Subscribe to the channel to keep up seen our software reviews, hardware reviews, tips and tricks on using the Commodore 64 and interviews. Thanks for watching.